Lightworks tutorial for beginners complete guide. Hey guys, welcome. In this video, I'm giving you a tutorial on Lightworks, how you can use Lightworks editor to edit your professional videos and create high quality content. So let's get into it. First of all, what you guys need to do is you can actually go to lwkslightworks.com and you will land right here on this platform. Lightworks is a very uh, high quality platform that allows you to edit video. There's a Lightworks editor that what we will cover today so let's actually get into it first of all once you get on the website you will get the option of login or sign up so you need to click on sign up so here you have to enter your email address and create a password and then you will click on sign up now you have to complete these steps you can see which lwks product you want to uh, use so we want to actually use the lightworks video editor uh, what type of content you will be creating so here you will select what kind of content creator you are youtuber then we have influencer gamer professional corporate educational or more so i'm gonna go with a youtuber uh, on a scale one to five how regularly you use video editing so i'm gonna go with you can go with full time often or sometimes you're gonna go with full time because we will be using lightworks now so now you need to just click on sign up and click on let's go it will take you to your Lightworks link where you can download Lightworks to your laptop or PC. So you need to download and install the application. Once you install, it will look like this. You can see I have already installed my Lightworks. So let's create a new project. You will get the option right here. Click on create new project. Now we have to give our project a name. Let's call it test. We can also add a note about it. For instance, I will add like a test project for video so you can add any kind of note you want to like this click on create and your new project is created now you will get the edit option right here and what will happen is here you will get the edit option you can see we have log assemble vfx and audio then we have the clips right here this is where you will add the clips to your projects and different sequences filters and assets Moving on, we have like sequences again, uh, we have recents you will be getting here. So this is where you will be able to find and you will be able to modify different, uh, you know, footage that you are adding. So this is the sequence one, like a layer that we see in different photo editors. Then at the bottom right here, we have a timeline where we have different tracks. We have video, audio one, audio two, audio three, audio four, or I can add more than one video as well. Then we have the audio tracks where I will get different buttons. We have zoom in and zoom out right here. Similarly, we have effects at the top here where I will be able to add different effects and transitions. And then at this side, we have our metadata. Then we have at the bottom here, you will be getting a monitor here where you will be able to uh, expand and, uh, you know, hide different buttons. And then you can add different layouts uh, with this option right here. So if you want to add more sequences, then you will hit this plus button here and you will get the import clip option at this side of the screen. So let's import. So I'm going to click on import clips and get the clips for my computer. So here we have different uh, files that I have. So from here, I'm going to get my videos. So I have added a video right here. This is actually an image. I can add different images as well. Or what I can do is I can add videos. So now it's empty right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drag and drop it right here. So now you can see the image has been added here. This is actually a random image that I selected, but I'm going to actually import more images. For instance, I have this image here and I have uploaded some of the other images as well. So you can see this is our like sequence and we have like different, uh, you know, clipboard here and then we have ID too. So here you will be able to actually manage your different clips and the footage that you add. And it gives you a lot of information about it. The tracks that we have here, the frame rate, then we have our TC star, then we have TC and all of the information will be given right here. Then we have at the bottom, you can see now the effect one has been added like our footage, which is the image one. Now I can also upload a video and it will be shown here. When it comes to the audio tracks, then I will be at them here and you can see we have audio one, audio two, audio three and audio four. At the top here, uh, you can see we have other options. For instance, I can now play my video that we have. So I can select the timing for this footage if I want it to be for six seconds, for seven seconds, 10 seconds or more. So you will adjust the timing from here. It shows you the length of your video. So you will adjust the video length as well, the footage length, any footage that you are adding. 
then we have this option right here which is remove the mark section and replace it with a blank then we have uh, with marks we can also delete it and here i can also add a voiceover so if you want to record a voiceover you will get the button right here at this side of the screen we have fx setting we have different uh, options here we have uh, opacity we have blend mode then we have position x and position y we have scale and more so you can see uh, now if i want to add different transitions so i will go to the transition section here and in transitions we have different transitions such as like this one push one then we have bar we have bar two you can scroll down to get all of these different transitions for free so this is a pretty good thing about light works that we are getting everything for free you can see we have this one right here which is a double fan we have this one which is fan a double sweep then we have double sweep four so all of these different transitions then if i go to the effects in effects we have these kind of effects for instance we have this color correction so if i select it and add it the color correction will be added to my footage right here to my image that i have i'm actually creating an ad for uh, youtube so uh this is like the first image that i'm going for we can also adjust the size of the image uh from here we can resize and position our image in the center then we have a sample text so if you want to add text to your video then you can go to the text section here you can go to different assets in uh, assets we have sub clips clips images sequences everything and bins too so you will also be able to add different effects we also have sources in sources what i can do is i can actually add different i can mark a region of my source by using a blue in and out button so we can do that here similarly i can click on this plus button we have prints we have images we have library dropbox box google drive these are the different contents for the assets right here that i can get we have log lots uh what happens here is i can actually manage my different projects here it will take me back to my projects then we have assemble here i will be able to uh this is actually really essential for editing asset source and sequences then we have vfx so in vfx what's happening is it's going to show me these all of the different effects you can see fx settings here i will be able to actually do these settings for the saturation we have contrast uh the different uh, you know grading settings can be done right here if you switch to the vfx here and then at the top we have audio that will take me to audio settings and here i can do everything for the audio so this is actually pretty good in light works we get our own uh you know our whole setup our main dashboards for editing for vfx and audio we have separate dashboards to do all of these settings in audio as well i can do a lot we have uh you know noise gates we have reverbs we have acoustic sweeteners we have voice enhancers and much much more effects that we can add uh, so similarly with vfx i'll be able to do a lot more with the gradient with the brightness and grain everything for instance if i want to change something on this uh you know footage so you will be able to see how i can change the whole uh you know gradient and the colors for my uh you know footage here let's for instance this one right here you can see this way i can change it similarly we have highlights here and at the bottom we have mask we have capacity opacity position blend mode so if you want to blend two footage then you will be able to do so so right now i have added like one footage which is like a 10 second uh you know this image and i can add an audio too so for the audio what i can do is i can also add my audio we can add a music or also do the different uh, audio settings so you just click on this plus button right here and you will be able to fetch the uh, the audio uh from your uh gallery we can also expand our view to kind of like get more access like so let's get back to edit so what i'm doing right now is i'm actually showing you around all of the different tools on let's work as a complete beginner how you can get started and what are the different tools that you will be getting i'm not editing because it actually takes like hours sometimes to edit but i'm showing you how to get started and what are the different things that you will be able to do with let's work it's a very easy to use platform for free that you can use so go ahead and download the lightworks application and then you will be able to get started and you will get all of these different features and tools that i just showed you i hope that i was a big help to you guys don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up leave a comment down below turn on bell notification and subscribe to youtube channel